Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Cassandra here, and if you're new, I make videos all on beauty and lifestyle, and just about anything that tickles my fancy. And if you click the subscriber button and the notification bell, you will be up to date on everything that I post, and I greatly appreciate everybody that subscribes to my channel. Anyways, I am currently in a different location than my room. Um, for many of you guys who do not know, I serve in the um, Armed Reserve Forces. Uh, so basically, for me, it's kind of like a part-time job. It's a way to make a little bit of extra money and serve uh, my country. Uh, but anyways, um, I'm currently in a different location. I'm in my room and I decided that I wanted to film, so I brought my camera and my tripod. Why not? Um, because I was here for like two weeks. <laughs> So, um, today I have no makeup on my face, um, my hair is kind of in a struggle bun right now because I just got off from work and I took my tripod out and my camera because I have amazing sunlight behind me and I want to film this video before the sun goes down. So today I'm going to be talking about the Anacure um, mask, which is the zombie facial that's really, really popular right now. It's been all over my social media feed, all over my Instagram, all over my Facebook, everywhere. And I, they did not, like, I felt like they were, like, hounding me, like, literally hounding me with their ads until I finally decided to try it. Um, so I figured why not try it. My skin currently is in, um, literally, like, I feel like it's in struggle mode right now. So I have a lot of breakouts, um, active breakouts going on right now. And a lot of, um, I feel like my hyperpigmentation has deepened a little bit. My acne scars has deepened a little bit. One, because I wasn't wearing, um, sunscreen, basically, f for a while. And I, I just, like, I don't know what is wrong with me, like... I feel like I will get into this mode when my skin is like amazing and looks beautiful and like all of the acne is gone and all of the, the dark spots are gone. And then I just feel like, you know what, let me just like screw it up. So this month I'm just trying to recover from all the bad like sugar honey iced tea stuff that I've done to my face. And um, that's why the I decided to try the henna cure mask. Henna cure mask. So. Yeah, so um, uh, this ma mask uh, is originally from Seoul, Korea, and it says that it's formulated to help target your skin concerns and deliver immediate visible results. Um, so on, it has a lot of claims. This little tiny um, box um, has a lot of clear claims. So it says it's supposed to be anti-aging, clarifying, lifting, firming, brighten brightening, contouring, pore tightening, and even skin tone. Um, so I'm going to open it up, which to me, the packaging is just amazing. Like it is so amazing. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. You get like a little, um, instruction leaflet that says transformation starts here. And I think this is a sample of a moisturizer that came with it. It just says nano emulsion, which I'm assuming you're supposed to put on your face after the mask. And then it looks, basically looks like this. Will you take away this little, um... A sponge thing um, you get a little tiny vial you get a spatula and you also get the um, the product that you're supposed to put it in the gel it's called a gel and solution um, that you're supposed to put it in so this mask retails for $29 um, so this is pretty much like the starter mask and then they also have a, a kit um, that comes with four other masks for for a hundred dollars I believe is it a hundred dollars? Uh, let me go on the website. I think yeah, they have another um, kit, which is for a four-piece kit that come that retails for a hundred and ten dollars. So I did not want to make the commitment of spending a hundred and ten dollars for for this mask, even though I've seen the reviews and I've heard a bunch of YouTubers talk about it, and it seems to be amazing. It's just not something that I wanted to spend that kind of money on. So I figured $29 versus $110, I'd rather try it out once. And then, you know, like maybe if I want to, like I'll probably like try it out again sometime later. But for now, um, I think I'm just comfortable with spending $29 and then $110. Um, so anyways, this mask has a lot of freaking claims like a lot of claims and we gonna try it out to see if it works because um yeah it it just has a lot of freaking claims it has a lot of claims on here um apparently it's supposed to be made it's made the science behind it it's saying that it's made i'm like looking at my computer 
website. Uh, so it's saying that it's made with some kind of CO2 octolith um, uh, compound that's supposed to be um, purifying um, with a bunch of carbon dioxide and all this extra stuff. So I'm going to do like a little insert of all the science behind it because I'm not even quite understanding it myself. Uh, so it's saying that it is a patent CO2 octolift technology which is designed to address major skin concern and deliver immediate visible results. So um, whenever skin companies say that they're going to give you immediate visible results, I never believe it. Um, sometimes what happens is a product will dry your skin out so much that you feel like it's tightening your skin but realistically it's just the dryness that's happening. But like I said, this mask is making a lot of claims, so we're going to test it out. Um, but I do adore the packaging. Like, how freaking amazing is this? Like, I personally want to start my own skincare line, and I would love if my packaging was just like this. So, um, let's get to it. Okay, so according to the instructions, you're supposed to mix the gel in solution with this little tiny um, vial of lift in solution. I just pre-opened it for the camera. Um, so this contains 0.2 floor ounces of product while this comp contains 0 0.03 ounces of product. So it's really, really tiny. Uh, so let me just open this thing. Open this little thing up. It's like a little tiny shot actually. <laughs> oh crap, I broke it. Okay, so just mix this little tiny vial. I feel like I'm in like a science class of product with this little tiny vial of product. Come on. Listen, for $29, I need every drop in this thing. Every drop needs to come into this thing. Oh, okay. This is such a cute little bottle. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. And then you apply it to your face with the little brush that it comes with. So I'm gonna do it right now. Okay, so all up in my face. Um, I literally have nothing on my face. I pretty much just cleanse my face, like the solution said. And you're supposed to just shake this little pot up. Ooh. Okay, you're supposed to just shake this little thing up and then apply the mask to your face and i'm really not trying to waste anything because this is 29 dollars of my american dollars and i ain't trying to waste it um so you just apply the entire solution to your face and this little brush here is actually really nice i think i'm gonna keep it what i will say about this mask is it's packaged so nicely Like the packaging is just everything. So I guess for the price that they're charging you, they're really like putting a lot of effort into their packaging, which is kind of cool. And you can see I have a lot of hyperpigmentation and acne going on. I Whenever I eat dairy, I literally break out in the same exact spot. And it's always like right along here, along my, um, my chin, which I hate it so, so much. Like, you have no idea, but I just don't learn my lesson. But it was my birthday, so, you know, I was like, whatever, I'll eat a sundae. Which I probably should have asked them if they had, like, Sorbet, sorbet instead of ice cream. Okay. Pull my shirt down because I'm getting it all the way down my neck. I feel like I have product that I could like leave, um, leave for like, I feel like I could get like two use out of this. However, it is supposed to be like a one-time use and I don't know if I like leave the solution on its own and try to use it again if the product would not work the same. So I'm just going to use all of it on my face, get it on my nose, along my eye, 
area because my skin I just needed to get back to beautiful <laughs> I am actually considering also to get like a laser um, treatment along my um, like chin and right here along my neck because I get these like hairs that I don't like sh I don't shave it off obviously I like use a tweezer to pluck it out but whenever I pluck or whenever I get one like I feel like it leaves a lot of like acne scars which I do not like like a lot of scar not scar, uh, hyperpigmentation, which I don't like at all. So I think I'm going to laser treatment my face soon, and I'll take you guys along the journey for that as well. Okay, so I think that's everything. I literally use everything inside of this tube because your girl is not trying to waste any product. I ain't trying to waste no product at all. Oh, got it on my lip. Ugh. 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 Okay. All right, so now I'm not sure how long I'm supposed to keep this on my face for. What does the package say? I guess I'm supposed to leave it on my face until it dries and then wash it off with warm water because typically that's what a mask does. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it on my face. And it says, I guess um, you're supposed to, they're marketing as that you're supposed to use it once or twice per week. I don't have $110 to be buying this um, once or twice. So I should be expecting an intense tightening sensation within 10 minutes or less. If applied close to the eye area, you may experience gradual pulling effect. Uh, don't be alarmed. This is normal and only temporarily while the mask is working. Oh, let me put it up a little bit closer. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to let this stay on my face until it dries. And I'm going to wash this brush out because... This tiny thing, it's actually kind of cute. And I was going to get one from um, one of those mask brush from e.l.f. But I'm going to save this for whenever I apply a mask to my face. Because this is actually a really good brush. So I'm going to come back in a couple of minutes and let y'all see how this works. Okay, so I'm back. This is probably like a minute into it. I'm feeling like a slight cooling sensation. Which it's not horrible. Um, I kind of like the feeling actually it just feels really really cool and I'm liking it and I also feel like a slight tightening it just literally feels like when you're wearing a regular you put on like a regular um, uh, ben bentonite clay mask and it just like starts to like tighten up your face that's what this is feeling um, like and I also noticed like along my neck where I stopped it has like a like a dark kind of like gradient um, going on I don't know what that's about but um, still it isn't fully dry yet because I can still move my mouth around uh, so I'm gonna come back when it's fully dry and uh, y'all can see the craziness that's going on okay, so I look like shit <laughs> WTF so my face feels super super tight right now like my eyes look droopy. It feels so so tight. Like I've tried um bentonite clay mask before and it's never made my skin feel so tight. Like I can barely open my mouth. Um but it's so so tight. Um it took a while to dry, I guess because I put so much on. But my face feels so tight and it literally feels like it's like pulling my face back like this. Um so yeah, this is what it looks like. So I'm going to rinse this thing off because I am so over it on my face. Like, what is this? I look crazy. <laughs> so I'm going to rinse this off because it's so tight and I can't really open my mouth. But I need this thing off my face like right now. <laughs> 
So I'll be right back. Okay, so I washed my face off. Um, it took a little bit of a minute to get off. You had to, it said to just wash your face with warm water. Um, but because it's a gel consistency, um, well, the consistency before I put it on my face, it's kind of gel. It, you had to like really use some warm water to get it off. Um, I'm just going to apply the nano emotional, em, nano emulsion on my face because it is, um, feels a little bit dry right now <laughs> and I have oily skin. So I need, I need something. I need some, I need some moisture in my life. Okay. So what I can say about this mask is, is it worth the $29? If you're going to do one of it, I'm going to say no, because I feel like it didn't make that much of a difference in my face. Um, my texture still looks the same. My pores still look the same. If anything, it just literally just like tightened my face a little bit more. And I feel like I could get that results from just doing a mask, like from um, using like a bentonite clay mask or uh, on the Aztec clay mask, which really like gets into your skin. Um, oh, that feels so much better. My skin feels so much better. Oh, yeah. Um, but like I said, it's not something that I feel like you're going to see a benefit from by using just one of it. I feel like if for you to see any like visible results, you have to like use it more than once. And if you're one of those people that have like a lot of wrinkles on your face or your skin is sagging, I think the results are going to be temporarily because what happens is your face is like literally it tightens so much that when you wash off your face, you feel like it's like a lot tighter, but realistically it's not doing that that much. Uh, if you're only going to use it once, I feel like you would have to get the full um, kit, which is cost $110 for you to see and use it on um, that many times. Uh, like use it for the full month before you could see any form of results. Um, according to their website, um, the mask actually contains uh, lotus leaf extract, green tea extracts, um, honeysuckle flower, um, a bunch of copper uh, peptides, and some other stuff that I can't even pronounce the name of right now. Um, so I guess those are what's uh, work um, in effect to give your skin um, nice looking skin. Um, my skin does look little bit glowing on camera after using the moisturizer but it literally just could be the moisturizer which by the way i actually really like this i wish they would sell this on its own because it feels really good on my face i'm like using some more it feels really really good on my face um how i'd recommend using this mask i would say if you're one of those people like me who like to try out a lot of beauty um products then sure go ahead why not it doesn't hurt to try uh, I would say like I wish I had done like a full facial before I use this mask because I feel like it would be a little bit more effective if I had done that. So full facial mean, meaning like steaming my face, um, doing like an extraction, then putting on the mask um, and then like um, washing it off and then putting on a moisturizer. I feel like I would get more of an effect for that. Um, effect that way because your pores are open when you steam your face uh, so I feel like that would be a little bit more effective um, when you use, if you use that mask this way um, would I buy it again not necessarily I don't think I'll try it again or buy it again because uh, realistically I don't I don't I don't want to spend $110 on um, anything. I would spend $30 just to try something out, but I don't necessarily think I want to spend $110 on a kit. Like, I feel like I'd rather just spend, like, that kind of money on, like, a Sunday Riley um, Good Jean product or, like, a uh, Drunken Elephant, like, product, which uh, I'm not not even gonna go there um or something else that i feel like is gonna like i could use it continuously every single day and over time it's gonna give me um tremendous re results rather than using a mask once and you know get temporary results so that's pretty much my thought on it um i do love the packaging i think their packaging is beautiful like honestly um i honestly wish they had created this system um, this mask as like a system where you get like a facial cleanser then you get the mask and then you get the moisturizer I think that would be like a little bit more um, like 
nicer in a way or maybe like do it to a point where like you know how proactive have like their three-step system i wish this was like kind of like a three-step system because i feel like if you do it that way you kind of get more results out of it but these are just my personal opinions um obviously i want to um someday own a line and that's just something that i would do um but that's just my personal opinion and opinions like everybody says you know everybody has one uh but anyways thank you guys so much for watching um, uh, my video thank you for um looking at me while i look crazy and i hope i didn't traumatize anybody too much um don't forget to rate like comment and subscribe and if you have tried this mask out before just let me know down in the comments and just let me know what your results are if you're using the four step the four actual four treatment um that would be great to see um what everybody else's results are like but so far yeah um would i try it again no do i recommend it yeah if you're one of those people that like want to try something out sure is it something that you need in your life definitely not i don't think it's anything that anybody needs in their life um but like i said if you're a junkie like me that likes to try stuff out then you could try it uh anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll make more videos later bye guys